if you want to graduate from doodles to drawings, this is the tutorial for you. We're going to warm up with doodling mushrooms and we're going to create this lovely mushroom illustration together. Hello my friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel we make art together and it's fun, not scary. And today we are drawing mushrooms. We're gonna draw a whole bunch of these cute little fungi together and then we'll kind of focus in on one special illustration and I'll talk you through the whole thing. Before we get to that larger illustration, we're going to create this fun little sketchbook page. We'll doodle our way through a ton of mushrooms and kind of get warmed up. You can follow along with me and make up some of your own as well. First up, supplies. I'm working in a Canson mixed media sketch pad. These are really inexpensive, but I love the paper quality. And then I have a couple of fine liners. The Mulatto black liners are my current favorite. I like to have two sizes, two nib sizes on hand, like an 07 millimeter is a good large size. And then a four or a 0.2 is nice for the smaller one. And then grab a white gel pen if you have one. Okay, let's draw some mushrooms together. Mushrooms are fun to doodle. You basically draw a semicircle <laughs> and then you put a stem on it and you can switch it up in just about any way. You could draw a square and put a stem on it. <laughs> put a little grass along uh, the bottom of the stem there, maybe a tiny bit of line shading where the stem meets the cap and some little dots on top. And I promise you, your doodle is gonna look like a mushroom. So if you're kind of like, oh, I'm just learning to draw mushrooms, are a great place to start. Let's um, let's just fill in this whole page together and we'll have a bit of fun. I'm gonna draw some little mushrooms with these kind of funny uh, caps that come to a bit of a point at the top. They're a little more pointed than the first two I drew there. Um, I'll still shade right where the stem meets the cap, maybe put some lines instead of dots. And I like the way all the stems kind of come together uh, at the base there. This is a mushroom I draw over and over. I do this kind of weird oval shape and I do a cluster of them and I just do these really thin little stems. Remember to add some grass if you feel like you can't tell what it is. <laughs> Next, let's draw that big semicircle cap. But then instead of just doing a smooth line, we'll do a bunch of little lines across the bottom to make it look like it's that sort of hairy fungus. Um, not quite hairy, but those gills and broken bits. Again, grass, bit of shading underneath the cap, and it all comes together. So I'm using the same formula over and over to draw a bunch of different looking mushrooms. Here's how to draw a simple button mushroom. Start with an oval, do a big circle around it. Little circle there where the two meet color that in and add a bit of line shading. As you work through this doodle practice page, follow along with what I'm doing or start to kind of think about how you can create some of your own by differing the shape of the cap and the shape of the stem. All you have to do is make some small changes to doodle a whole bunch of different mushrooms. I also find it helpful to look at Google Images, look up some real mushrooms and kind of make a doodle of what you see in front of you. You don't have to capture everything that you're looking at, kind of capture some of the morels main features or the criminy's main features and you'll find that this is a great way to develop your own unique artistic style. You're having fun looking at photos and kind of picking out what you want to draw and what you don't want to draw. I decided that my sketchbook masterpiece here needed a little more contrast so I colored in some of the uh, mushroom caps and that nice contrast of black and white is just finishing my piece in a really nice way and I like what we've come up with here. Thanks for drawing and doodling along with me. Now let's take what we've learned and what we've practiced and draw a single mushroom together. We're going to do more of an illustration and I'm going to walk you through every step so we're going to go a little slower for this this next part. I'm still working in the same sketchbook, but I'm gonna start my illustration in pencil. In the center of the page, I'm gonna draw sort of an oval or a semicircle. Then I'm gonna drop down and we're going to add a little stem. It kind of flares out slightly at the bottom and we round it at the top. And then we kind of mark off the bottom of that semicircle. And I think you can see the mushroom shape there. Now, still working in pencil, we want to add some detail to the stem. 
I've done kind of a broken line across the center and then I drop down and I put that messy line at the bottom. We'll sketch in some gills, just some messy lines and some dots on the mushroom cap. This is just your sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. We're just working everything out. Then we're gonna grab our fine liner and we're gonna begin our contour drawing. So I'm starting with the stem. I want the top to be curved and I want that broken line at the center and then another one at the bottom so it looks like the stem is kind of in three sections. We're gonna go around and draw the shape of the mushroom cap. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then from there, things are starting to feel good. We can kind of mark in some of those little dots and spots, although if you don't put enough or you don't like them, you can fix them up with the white gel pen later. And then we'll get rid of all our sketchy pencil lines. Then we're actually going to add in some more pencil I'm just drawing a little bit of grass and maybe a leaf or a branch or a little fern or something. And I kind of was inspired to put a little frame behind my mushroom. I also realized I erased my gills, so I sketched those back in. Okay, that's looking good. Let's come back in with our fine liner, still using the 0.7 millimeter. And I wanna add a little bit of line shading. So this line shading is what's gonna make my illustration pop. It's going to make everything a little bit more three-dimensional. And we're just adding a bit of shading, you know, where the uh, cap meets the stem or where that stem is a little bit um, protruding out, flared out, there would be a bit of a shadow underneath. And then I did need to sketch those gills in because I missed them. Uh, before, before I erase the contour drawing. I also wanna take this moment to color in the cap. So I want a nice dark black mushroom cap and I'm just gonna carefully color around my spots. Although as I already mentioned, we're going to also add a bit of um, dotting with the white gel pen. So if you have a white gel pen, uh, don't worry if you mess this up a little or if you don't put enough spots because we can add them back in later. Once that is finished, we'll take a smaller fine liner. Mine is the 0.2 millimeter and we'll continue the line shading. So now we wanna get some really tiny lines and I'm focusing on the same areas where the stem meets the cap, where the um, stem flares out. There's a little, you know, bit of shadow underneath that. I'm also placing shadow lines on the very left-hand side and the very right-hand side to show that the light would be hitting this mushroom sort of dead on. We're also going to shade on the gills and we're going to um, add some really nice thin little bits of grass in here. You can see the whole thing coming together and I'm also going to um, kind of continue with my contour drawing there. I'm just really adding to the mushroom now. It's a simple illustration like it it was so easy to draw in pencil. We did that part together really quickly, but now it's all this line shading and all the detail elements that are gonna make it into something really like cool and really impressive. I am using that white gel pen to add more spotting on the cap, and then I'm going to color in the leaves that I illustrated just to help add contrast to the entirety of the illustration. And yeah, I'm gonna go over that little frame. I don't know why I just felt like this illustration needed a little hand-drawn border. Um, so I drew that in, and I'm kind of just playing around now and focusing on what's gonna make this pop, what's gonna make this look really interesting. Maybe there should be some grass behind the mushroom so that it looks like it's growing up in the middle of a forest or a field. Maybe I need to add some more leaves on the right-hand side here. Um, I also added some little sketchy bits on the stem uh, to make it look like there were sort of indents in the fungus. And then, gosh, at this point we could be done. I decided to grab my really thick fine liner that I almost never use, which is the one millimeter, and kind of go over the grass a bit. And you can see what a heavy weighty line that is, but I like what it did for that grass just at the bottom. And then I am uh, going over that second, I'm adding kind of a second line to my hand-drawn border. So I always just pull the pen towards my body and I get this line that's straight, but not too straight. And I do like to double that up. Um, it just gives a nice effect. And I think 
that is done. I just worked it out, went along, added what I felt it needed. Uh, this wasn't planned. It was just one of those fun sketchbook illustrations that comes together and you kind of work it out one bit at a time. So thanks for creating this with me and following along. And I hope you enjoy doodling and drawing and illustrating some fungus today. Hit that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you soon with a new tutorial.